Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC, and I am sitting, as always, next to my best friend, and Bob. I'm sitting next to my best friend, Keith. And you don't want me to hug you, No, you? not again. That was awkward. <laughs> well, anyway, today we're talking about three letters that are important to a lot of people. THC. Yes. But it's not the kind that's legal in Missouri. Or other places. Or other places. Yes. It stands for torch height control. And I have no idea... Torch height control. Control. So yeah, so it's I got, a CNC thing. Yeah, I got a plasma cutter. Okay. And I got a torch height control thing, but it burned out, and I paid a lot of money for it, so it ticked me off. So I'm going to build my own. It's a torch. What? It's a plasma torch. Okay. It cuts through metal. Okay, I know that plasma cuts through metal. Yeah. Got it. What is the torch? Well, the torch is the part that's cutting through the metal that's on your table. What do You're you want? You're not helping me. I'm here, not. Bob. What are you looking for? What is it? It's a the torch. torch. Got that. It's a, the T. <laughs> the C. Yes. O R. T O R. C -O. Torch. Okay. Torch. What is it? Is it like a like a, a welding torch? Yeah, but it's a plasma torch, so it's got it's a it's got and an electrogen. Nope, acetylene. Just, just air, but you can just use air. you can use like other gases, but it basically just uses air to guide the the arc down. So it's really like an, an it, arc. it creates like an arc. Noah's arc. Yeah, except for A R C. That's a great big arc. Yeah. Okay. And if the voltage is too much, that means your torch is too far away from your metal. And if it's too little, it's too close, but there's a set voltage, which means there's a set height that your torch should be away from your metal to cut cleanly. So you have this torch height control. So okay. you measure this voltage, which is like zero to 300 volts. Okay. Now you gotta convert it down to something in a microcontroller with a voltage divider. And then it's like, say zero to five volts. And then you read that and you compare it to what you have it set at. And then you adjust your Z up and down. Okay. You know what I learned this week? Go ahead. So pulse width modulation is a way to uh, <laughs> to fake a voltage, right? Okay. But you can't read it with an analog input. It I just can't won't read work. it. Well, it, yeah, I guess you probably can't. Okay. But I I learned how to do that this week. Okay. I was so proud of myself. You should be. Yeah. So I am getting further on my plasma cutter torrent height control so that uh, and you can cut accurately. I think it cuts accurately, but sometimes metal goes up and down okay. or sometimes when you go to a corner, it starts cutting slower. So it needs to adjust the height. I'm not really sure I'm learning about okay. plasma cutting, but as soon as I uh, learn a little bit more, maybe I'll make some parts. I'm really hoping that we've got some plasma experts out there Yeah, and you can leave it's, some comments yeah, you could to start. help Bob. Or just email me and say, hey, because I can't do, do anything to help Bob. Yeah, not with plasma cutting. Not with most anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, now, but you, you said you made something. Yeah, I, I have a microcontroller and I have this, I have this thing that reads zero to 500 volts, although I only need 300 of them, right? But then I use a voltage divider to get it to a microcontroller. So I'm programming oh, this microcontroller crap to take a signal and adjust my Z height. So hopefully I can cut out uh, uh, metal parts uh, more consistently. Cause it's, I've got a lot of scrap metal, <laughs> a lot. Okay. So with my new uh, plasma cutting venture. All right. You should come over and, and I, see I'm going to have pieces. to go to the garage and, and see what Do you have any metal that I can borrow? I'll, I'll make smaller pieces out of it. <laughs> I might. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I might. I'll have to check. Anyway, so my torch height controller, I'm going to work on it this, this weekend, I think, and hopefully uh, get it dialed in. Because I, I got it programmed where I think I, I, I can get it hooked up and know what I do. Now, I'll, I'll probably have to deal with electrical noise and all that other stuff, but, you know, always a learning curve. Okay. Kristen, are you doing anything this weekend? Yes. <laughs> You're lying. Actually. I got to have a driver. My in-laws are here, so I'll be able to help you. <laughs> okay. Well, if that's the case, yeah. then the next time we have a shop talk, I can tell you more about what I don't understand. 
Okay, well, maybe I'll be able to tell you more about what I don't understand. Okay. Well, till then, guys, we love you. We'll see you next time. Bye.